then what, my channel name is just Digital Scribe. Hey guys, good evening and welcome to my exciting channel. We're just got some Mandel effects of a like. Thanks for joining in tonight. Welcome all Mandel Effectings. Hey, I'm sorry I hadn't put that many videos out lately. Um, I had a, a rough night yesterday. I was actually um, embedded in Luke. And um, I just finished up with Chapter 17 this evening. Um, but I have Tom here on the line. He, he's talking to me about Outback Steakhouse. Um, this logo looks like it could have possibly changed. I want to put it out there to you guys as a possible. Um, I noticed an irregularity with the A. Um, it's got some kind of horn on it. Um, similar to what I see with the Dollar General with the D. Um, got a horn on there. And the K seems kind of curved. I just want to bring this to your attention. Uh, ma mainly because we're seeing A's change. Um, and a lot of the R's and A's starting to be connected. So um, I'm kind of trying, just trying to get your opinion. I did manage to find some residue here, but yeah, Tom, um, how often do you eat at Outback? Uh, yes, I eat at that restaurant um, at least like once a month or sometimes twice a month, and uh, when I looked at the logo, it's definitely changed. I mean, it's not like the one I remember. Yeah, and you, you say um, you, you eat there all the time? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, when I do go out and I want a good steak, I go to the Outback Steakhouse because I love their blooming onion. Oh yeah, they are known for their blooming onions. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and trace this for you guys, so that way we have some kind of residue, if in case it changes again. Um, but yeah, here is here is what I found. Um, this is I remember the A looking more block like, like this here. Um, and this this could be just maybe an American thing or maybe maybe something just in uh, Australia. I mean, you know, it could be. So, but I, I know, like, Logopedia could sometimes be wrong. That's what I'm trying to see what you guys remember. Every other photo I'm pulling up here has the A like that. And I just don't remember it like that. Neither does Tom. And by the way, um, Tom's been with us on a couple of those Hangouts. Um, uh, he's digitalscribe.us. I can I can post a link to his channel. Um, Tom, you want to tell him about some of the rest of the stuff you cover or, or some of the stuff you've done? Yeah, while the I trace um, this? stuff I want to mention is um, on the Bible changes that I've noticed is um, not every King James Bible changes. I mean, it's really wild. It's like some Bibles actually have the residue of what it used to be, which is really crazy. Yes. Because, um, you know, I was watching one channel about the Bible changes, and when I looked at my eSword electronic Bible, I noticed that it was unaffected. But yet when I opened up my 1944 Philfield Bible, I saw a change right there, which, you know, makes no sense, because you would think that the paper would be more stable than the electronic Bible. And um, it's just really something. Yeah, it is. It's definitely uh, something with these changes going on. Um, some of the things I, I you know, I'll, I'll admit. I mean, some of these things are possible. They've been right under our noses the whole time. But it's good we're awake because we're learning how to spell better. We're learning um, history better. And I, I have become a better Christian because of it. Um, isn't that right, Tom? I mean, I think because we're awake, I mean, we become more alive yes. now. Yes. So. It, it, more or less, the main thing, it caused me to be more alert, more aware of my surrounding situations. I mean, with the new with the new wave of changes we're getting, it seems like when you see letters connected and logos, that's a sure sign it was definitely a change. Because uh, it makes no sense to start merging letters together together and uh that's like a new thing also if you look at the letter t the, the lowercase t yes. you'll notice it has a right hook to it and it's more shifted over to the right and uh, any kind of t in your phone logos it's like a total spec a total spectrum change yes and also, guys, if you don't know, the letter T happens to be the 20th letter of the alphabet. It's also uh, the 6th from the Z. So if you think about it, it's almost like a, a backward 6. 
So um, we're, we're seeing the left side of the T's drop off on a lot of these logos here. But um, any any feedback, please, guys, if you want to, like, send me something. I know I'm, I'm a little bit working a little bit behind the power curve, but I'm supposed to get caught up this weekend. Um, I've got so many Mandela effects to put out. I've already put out almost 500 videos in the last three months alone. Isn't that right, Tom? Like, it's just yes, exactly. different stuff. Like, I can't claim all of those because I know I know it's not right to claim, you know, um, certain ones. And, you know, I always try to give credit. And, and I give Tom credit for this one because he goes to Outback all the time and he noticed this. So I'm just wondering if, what you guys had to say about Outback. Um, steakhouse and also I want to point out the letter A in Babylonian is six if you look it up but yeah um, Tom thanks again for your time and thanks guys for checking out my channel I'll be posting more videos to come thanks a lot have a great evening and God bless you all thank you